Yo, Elliot, in a couple months, about the time I'll be finishing up this program, I'll be moving out on my own for the first time. I will maintain my new apartment first. Then after a month, my girlfriend will join me and help split the rent. I want to provide a strong and stable household environment for myself and my lady. What advice do you have during this transition period? Once again, I have to refer to my own life, right? And I know that not everybody is like me, but you can take some clues, right? I take clues from my past. So I look at parts of my life and I say, okay, that was screwed up. That led me down the wrong path. I won't do that again. And then I look at other parts of my life and say, wow, that really helped me. That was awesome. I That's a good path to follow, right? Again, that's the only way I can, I can be, come to you is through the honesty of my own wisdom, my own experience. And there are certain things that I did not knowing that I was doing it, right? Good and bad. I, you know, we're all ignorant while we're doing things. We think we know why we're doing what we're doing until later retrospect is 2020. And you look back and you're like, Oh, that's what that was for. And that was that it's all about. And I remember being 24 years old. And guess what? I was about 20, 24. I think maybe I was 22. And it was the first time I moved in with Colleen, right? And we had been dating all through high school. We had been boyfriend and girlfriend all through high school. But I had, I had, I still lived with my parents. I lived with my parents. Uh, and then we moved in. And you know what happened when we moved in? And look, this is set the foundation for our entire lives. We didn't move into e with each other until we were engaged to be married. And I think that it's important for a young man when he decides to, to move a woman into his house, you're moving a woman into your house, that there needs to be a plan for why you're doing this. Why are we moving in with one another, right? What is, what is the ultimate goal that we're reaching for? What journey are we stepping on? What path are we stepping on? And I see absolutely zero reason to move a woman into your house if the plan isn't we're getting ready to spend the rest of our lives together. Marry and make babies. You say you want to provide a strong and stable household environment for your lady. That means you need to create a strong and stable foundation. How is there a strong and, found, and, and stable foundation in a household? The only way that there's going to be a strong and stable foundation in a household is if she's your wife and, she, and you're her husband. I don't, today's not the day for me to go on rants about, about state licensed marriages and, and, and all the ills thereof, because I understand, I understand it. But I've had this conversation with many young men, men of, many of which were my mentees, people, young men in my programs, grounding camp and such, and they end up moving in with a woman and my assertion was, and they take the advice and it seems to work out that you treat this woman like she's your wife, even if you don't formally marry her, right? I say have a ceremony. I say still have a religious ceremony where you cut a covenant between you, the woman, and God the Father. Keep the keep keep government out of it if you can, right? It's a totally different subject, but I understand the ills thereof. Plus, the government's going to make you married anyway. The minute you move in with a woman, the government's counting down the days to say that that's your wife. So she's going to be your wife. The point is, don't move in with a woman. Don't have a woman move in with you. Let me put it that way. Never move in with a woman. Ever, 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 ever move in with a woman. But don't have a woman move in with you if the, if the intention isn't there to take it the whole way. Because then you, you're asking me about a stable household environment. There's no stability if there's no commitment. Why am I moving you into my house? So I have easy access to sex. Why am I moving you into my house? So that I have companionship, right? Get a dog. Why am I moving you into my house? Because uh, we just enjoy each other's company. No, I'm moving you into my house because you are my wife and we're making a family. Family, bros, family, bros. This is what we lack in our society. We need more of. But the problem is that there's a lot of problems. Once again, for me, I knew it was family, it was going to be children, and that was it. That created such a solid foundation, meaning that there was, no, there was no shakiness. There was no way to fall apart or to go somewhere else or to have a second guess. That was it. This is going to be my wife. When you start thinking about your girlfriend as if she's your wife when you move her into your house, and I would invite her to talk to her about this too. Show her this video. Say, if we're going to move in, 
We're going to move in as husband and wife. We're becoming one flesh. Become one flesh with that woman and start making babies. You want stability in your life? I know this sounds crazy, but I'm just talking about how it were unfolding in my life. You want, a, you want stability in your life? Start building a family. A family is a stable, is the stablest unit on, in humanity. The most stable unit should be the family. Of course, we've, so, we've gone our way in so many different ways, both men and women, through fornication and ab abortion and divorce and just the whole shit show of the culture has destroyed the unity that is supposed to happen, the one flesh bond between a man and a woman when they come together in that way. But build that bond between you, you and your woman with the mindset that this is for eternity, right? Our souls have joined together and let's make it make that official in the flesh. When two souls come together like that, that's so that you're helping each other get to heaven together. You're helping each other's souls progression together. You're committed to that woman's soul and she's committed to yours. All of it, all of the demons and all of the angels that exist in that woman's soul, you're there to help work her through that and work with it and be blessing and to be blessed by it and the same thing for her to you make commitments man men and women make commitments don't move in with a woman you're not committed to if you're not committed to her like that don't move in don't do it because it perverts family you get fake family you defile your future marriage bed it is not worth it right don't do it that's my opinion Call her your wife, even if it's just in your hearts, even if it's just between you, her, and God the Father. You want stability. You want a strong, stable household. Start making babies. Nothing grounds a family better. Nothing grounds a woman and a man better than the responsibility of making babies, having children. Family is the building block of society, right? If you're going to build, if you're going to build a building. You got to choose what you're going to make the building out of, right? And let's say you choose the brick. The brick was like a technology. Did you ever read about the Tower of Babel, right? Back then, you know, thousands of years ago, they were like, you know, living in mud huts. And then all of a sudden, they, they, dis they discovered bricks. They were like, oh, we can make bricks. We could build all kinds of shit out of bricks. Think about family as the brick that society is pieced together by. This is why society is falling apart. If you're curious about why society is falling apart, it's because the family fell apart. Check this out. If you look at the, polit uh, the political polarity that's happening in the culture, right? And we can just call it left and right. The left and right polarity that's happening in the culture began in the home. Because the politicians and the rulers of this world understood that if they could separate, if, by giving women the right to vote, Right? I know I catch a lot of flack for this, but by giving women a right to vote, you can then manipulate the family to be split politically. Do you rec you recognize that the left is more feminine? It's 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 governed by the matriarchic mindset. It's 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 the feminine aspect of the two. Right wingers are more masculine in that way. Uh, so the left has been catering to women through all kinds of fake. Uh, narratives about oppression in the home and in the family and so on and so forth so they knew that if they could split the family politically the whole country was split this is where we are right now we live in a split we live in a split country right it's almost like two different fucking countries but it began with the split of the family D no fault divorce women oh it's all feminism right feminism 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 destroyed the family the explicit goal of feminism was to destroy the family so feminism destroyed the family and now we got this. We got we got this, the split that we're experiencing right now, you know, po politically on the globe. Anyway, I'm kind of ranting too far. Be one flesh with your woman. Marry her. Marry her in the eyes of God, meaning you should have the same faith. You should have the same religion. You should be practicing together. It, if you want a stable family, I don't want to do all this shooting, right? I don't want to shoot on you, but you came to me and you asked, what do I want for a strong and stable household? You need commitment between three. You need her and you to take that lifelong dive and say, we're doing this damn thing. 
and you have to bring God into it. Otherwise, if you don't, here's, a, here's another way that the family was destroyed. When we took God out of it, we had to replace it with the state. Now, the state is the Lord over your family. Whether or not the state puts its ugly fingers in your family or not, by their own will and wish through, you know, their uh, their laws, what are the common law, common marriage laws, forget about the fucking state. Fuck the state. Forget the state. But in the eyes of God and the commitment between the two of you to God and through God and with the blessing of God, make that a solid there's nothing more strong than a pyramid, right? You keep asking about stability. What's more powerful than a pyramid? A pyramid, right? Is it, they say is the most stable object. Man, woman, God. You want a stable family, that's it. Both of you together looking up at God, hand in hand, committed to death, doing this thing because God asked you to. He put you together with this woman. You and her are together. You're probably already having sex. Make it official, do the damn thing. He says, we split on many political issues. We debate stuff every week. Okay, if you want that, if you want to have that kind of split in your home, fine. Me, I don't want that kind of split in my home. My wife and I need to be on the same page about all things that matter. And the two most important things that matter is God and politics, right? Because what is politics? Politics is the, is the manifestation of the spiritual war happening in heaven. What happens on earth is a, is a reflection of the spiritual and so, you know, people become so, oh, all you need is God. All you need is, you know, it's just about the spirit. But did you ever hear you so spiritually minded that you know earthly good? No. We, the, the family is designed to help bring God's kingdom to earth. So if y'all are split on what God's kingdom on earth looks like, <clears throat> don't move in with her, bro. And I'm reading what you say here. You say it's fun. And intellectually stimulating, but sometimes like talking to a brick wall who doesn't want to, who doesn't question anything. Don't move in with her. Do not move in with her unless you're ready to be a stable block with her. I'm reading your comments and that's not going to work. Y'all need to talk this through. Do you, you know, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you my opinion. But if you're not religious, it might be a good time to start looking towards God, trying to find religion. Try and understand God and bring her along with you because you're, fa you're, you're asking me for a stable foundation and there's no stable foundation without God and without a unified vision about what God's kingdom on earth looks like. Y'all don't have that. Ain't going to work. Plus you fornicating and moving in together with her with no intention of taking it any further. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work. Ain't going to work out well. Let me put it that way. Maybe it worked, but ain't going to work out well. My wife and I can't argue on the things that are most important. She can't be atheist and I'm Christian. She can't be a progressive and I'm a conservative. That doesn't make for a strong family. It makes for postmodern mess that we gotten ourselves into. So you starting off on the wrong foot, if that's the case for you, my man. Uh, I, would, I would advise you to take your time. I wouldn't jump into having her move in with you. I would want to make sure that you have a cohesive vision for what you want your life to look like together, right? I just, I assumed all these things were before you're going to move in with her. But if that's not the case, you need to take some time and really, you, you, it's not arbitrary. I'm sorry to say this. The world makes you believe that, oh, political opinion and religion is arbitrary. You can still love each other and be at disagreements, no, 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 you can't. Because at some point, that's gonna come back and bite you. If you start having children, and she, and she has a p particular idea about what's okay in terms of transgenderism, and she now wants to take your son and cut his dick off, that's gonna be a real big issue, right? There, you gotta touch upon every important issue with this woman, and make sure you're all on the same page before you start moving in and stuff and splitting rent and shit. And as quickly as possible, don't be splitting rent. You pay the rent. And she stay home with the babies. That's the way it's supposed to be, right? You're not partners, right? This is, I get it. It's against the, the egalitarian way of things, but you are the space maker. You create the space so that the woman can fill that space 
with love, with nurturing, with babies, with family, with children, right? I do everything I could do from the, from the time we moved in together to create a space for my wife to flourish. You create that space. You create a space where, you, where she can flourish and y'all could have, you could build a family. Otherwise, it's just entertainment. You're just entertaining each other. You just, it's just, uh, you're just fuck buddies, right? You're fuck buddies who don't even get along, right? Well, we don't even agree on anything, but we're fucking, right? They're moving in with each other. Why move in? Why move? You think you get more sex when you move in? What do you do? What's the point? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So anyway, that's, that's my opinion on that, right? Don't move in with a woman unless you have full intentions of making babies, making her your wife, being a husband, being a father. Otherwise, just stay in separate Stay in separate apartments, stay in separate homes. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.